Hey, it's me, Dawn Field. Listen, I'm coming here to talk to my empty nesters because I'm always talking to you guys about building a legacy, but I want to come on and express to you the importance of it and explain exactly what I mean by building a legacy because most of the time, most of us have absolutely no clear clue about what that means because maybe since we were old enough to go to school, preschool age, three years old, four years old, um, we were putting these <coughs> preschools in schools that are pretty much <coughs> run and controlled by the government. And so the government, <coughs> which is run and controlled by a handful of people, they have a separate <coughs> ulterior motive than what we have. Their motive is to get us um, working so that we can be built legacies for other people. If you really look into it, there's about three families <laughs> that pretty much control everything. I'm not even gonna say the family's names because you know, on Facebook I'll get banned for saying that, <laughs> but Anybody want to look it up? You can just look up to see who really runs each and every industry. And if you can think of any industry that's a major industry, there's like three families that will be the top names on each of the families. So pretty much we are working to uh, continue the legacy of these families. Just think about most of the stuff that, that we use or you hear about. It's stuff by a particular family. Johnson & Johnson, that's a family. McDonald's, that's a family, although we may hear, you know, tell the stories about it being taken from the McDonald family, but who knows, I'm sure they're getting some kind of cut out of all of that. Think of anybody, um, the Hilton, Hilton Hotels, that's a family. Most of the stuff that we, most of the business, our family's families building legacies, and we've been program to help these families continue their legacies and we're not building a legacy for ourselves we work eight to 12 hours for somebody else every day to build somebody else's legacy and not focus on the legacy for our own ourselves for our children <clears throat> and then we get so happy if we make a little bit of extra you know a little bit of money we got what we call a high salary so we have enough to save um, and put away but saving is never going to create a legacy for you. It's just not. It might be good to have just in case of an emergency, you know, something happens to the car, maybe you want to go on vacation, or maybe some, something happens to the furnace, you got to get a new furnace, like some emergency. It's good to be able to save so that you can always have money in the event of an emergency, but it's not going to create a legacy for you. So you have to purposely create a legacy. <clears throat> now, from my experience, I found that the best way for the average person to create a legacy is for the average person to get involved in what we call um, a direct selling company. And let me explain what direct selling company means. It's pretty much a company that's like a franchise. Um, like let's say Starbucks, Starbucks is a franchise. And if I wanted to own a Starbucks, I just buy into that franchise. Then I find a location and I'll do all this stuff that Starbucks does here at my location. You see what I mean? Like Starbucks has a company. I'm not creating the coffee. I'm not, you know, going out, finding it and brewing it and, and, you know, making up my own concoctions and recipes for the Starbucks. It's all done for me. I just buy into it. This location is going to be mine. I got to pay them a percentage for all this stuff that, that they're providing. But whatever I sell and market and promote and whatever money, I, profits I make, that's my money. <clears throat> that's the exact same thing for direct sales, except it's not a physical location that you have to go to. It's generally a company who um, is not using the regular means of marketing their business. They're not advertising on television. They're not advertising on radio. And they're not buying ads from Facebook or Instagram. They're just hiring a sales team to go out and have the sales team promote their business. So the sales team is pretty much bought into the franchise and their location is their home. <laughs> and then they just go out and they sell the product for the company. The reason I like this best is because I'm not required to purchase, to, um, make up, invent some kind of business. I don't have to do a articles of incorporation. I don't have to find board members. I don't have to do any of those things. All of that stuff is I don't have to go find a product. I don't have to ship out a product. I don't have to create the product and make sure that the product is labeled correctly. I don't have to do any of that. All I have to do is tell people about it 
I look for people just like me, people that's interested in making money, people that's interested in bringing business to this company and getting residual income off of it. People who are interested in building a legacy because it's the only way you're going to build a legacy if you find out a way that you can make money that comes in every month residually and you don't have to, you know, you just know it's going to come in. That's what building a legacy is about. And for me, I've set a goal that with this particular company that I'm working with now, over the next two years, I'm going to be making $500,000 a month. And I'm looking for 20 people to roll with because those 20 people are going to be making the same amount or at least six figures every single month. It's impossible for me to be making $500,000 a month and my top dog tier people, people that's rolling with me, not make the same thing. But I'm looking for people who have that kind of mindset because the company has lofty goals too. The comp company has... Um, they just opened up here in the United States. So that really puts us in a really great position because we can really build the legacy really fast because of the fact that it's just now opening up in the United States. So they have um, they have a goal of making $100 million in the next two years in profit, um, having 100,000 new customers here in the United States and creating 20 millionaires here in the United States. Now they've already in two in 3.5 years created 24 millionaires. So that's the equivalent of one of these franchises selling a million, million you, you just opened up two years ago and 24 of your brand new franchises are bringing them over a million dollars. That tells you that the company is strong. That tells you that the company has great products. It tells you that the company um, have a great compensation plan. I'm gonna be one of those million people million new millionaires here in the United States. And I'm looking for people that got the same kind of mindset that wanna be part of that 20 to 20 million also. Because I'm looking for people right now, because we're rolling over the next 30 days from now until the beginning of May. We're rolling strong. And people who are interested in really building their legacies, I think you should really reach out to me because this is an opportunity that doesn't come around often. Um, we have an opportunity that where you're, where you're in a country, where a company outside of the country is going to fund the building of the United States. And if they made 24 million in Colombia, 24 millionaires in Colombia, imagine how many millionaires they can make here in the United States. It's mind boggling. And if you don't come in and be a part of it right now, I don't even know what, what to tell you. But if you are interested, you can hit me up, inbox me, or go to www.tinyurl.com forward slash when with Dawn and just fill out the application and let me know that you're interested in becoming a part of this organization, of this goal of this, this uh, brand new, awesome company that's just opening up here. But if, if you don't choose to do that, you need to find something. I'm just telling you, this is the easiest way for you to do it, but you do have to find something. The reason why I say it's easy because not only that, once you get in, we got you. I'm a part of a really great company. We call ourselves the Dream Team. And we, we um, had a leader by the name of Tracy Walker. She provides so much um, information for us on exactly what it is to do. She's, she's already a seven-figure earner. She's earned more than seven figures on a couple of businesses that she has. So she knows what it takes to become a seven-figure earner. And not only that, but we also have um, other people on our team who are seven-figure earners and who are really there and available to help you. So it's really, that's the great thing about a direct sales team is that you're not in business by yourself. Now, nobody can force you to do the work. <laughs> it's up to you. If somebody gave you a million dollar plan and put it in your lap for absolutely free and you decided not to roll with it, that's on you. But if somebody placed a million dollar plan in my lap, trust and believe I'm rolling on it, rolling real hard. And I'm trying to bring as many people as I can who are smart enough to see the vision to roll with me. So I just wanted to come in to give you an idea of what it is to be to create a legacy and how easy it is to actually start doing it. If you're going to sit around and really thinking that you're going to do it by how about you know saving yourself into a legacy, I'm here to tell you that it's not gonna work. You're not gonna be able to do it. You're not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> Can't save yourself into a legacy. Peace and blessings. Have a great day.